everybody what is up welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well as you guys can see I'm not in my normal beauty space I wanted to do a video all about my career journey and where I am today what I learned along the way and how I got the job that I have now if you've been following me for a while you know that I have had a lot of different changes in like my career and just kind of like my trajectory of where I wanted to be I feel like I'm in a really good spot to kind of give you guys advice and I really want to tell you guys things that I wish I knew about going into what I am doing now back then when I was in like high school and college so I just wanted to make this video. I thought it'd be really fun because I know I get a lot of questions from you all about my job and like what I do and how I got it. I have like a list of things that I kind of want to talk to you guys about. If you're interested in hearing how to get a job in the corporate beauty industry, my path to where I've gotten today and all the advice that I have for you guys, then just keep on watching. So I want to start off in high school because I feel like that's a very pertinent time in life to kind of decide what you want to do after you graduate and if you want to go to college, if you want to go to a technical school. When I was in high school, I really knew I wanted to do fashion or beauty something along those lines but I still wanted to go to college when the time came to choose what I wanted to do and go to college I decided to go to University of Oregon It's a beautiful campus if you've ever been there and I first decided to study business I took business 101 I got like a C in it and then I discovered journalism and public relations which is actually what I majored in and I fell in love with it so I ended up graduating with a bachelor's of science in public relations and a minor in business administration which was really helpful because a lot of those classes overlap if if I were to go back and redo college, I would honestly have stuck with my marketing degree and done business administration. I feel like just where I am now and the skills that I have and what I'm passionate about, it leans toward on the marketing side versus the public relations side, but I'm still very happy with where I've gotten and what I learned within public relations as a whole field. I think one of the really important things too that I really made clear in all the projects that I was working on and things that I knew that were going to be really important to me once I graduated and created a portfolio for myself to show all my work was actually make it tangible and related to the field I wanted to go into so whether that be a PR plan or an infographic whatever it may be I really wanted to make sure it was beauty related so I did a lot of case studies on beauty brands and retailers so it was really tying into the industry I wanted to go into as well as what I was learning in school and then besides school I think extracurricular activities are super important when you're trying to figure out what you want to do so the journalism school that I went to had so many amazing clubs that I was able to be a part of so I became a member of PRS SSA. I also became a member of Social Media Club, which is actually from the business side, and I was their events director. And I also did her campus, like an all women's publication for the average college girl. And on top of that, I wanted to have a part time job. So you guys may have known, like, as you were watching my videos a long time ago, but I was still in college. And actually, when I got this job, I did a whole vlog about it because I was so excited. I wanted to work part time at Sephora. I knew Sephora was somewhere I wanted to be. The only one in my town was an SIJCP which is a Sephora inside JCPenney. I was able to get a job there and I worked for about six months until I decided I wanted to focus more on like my last year of school but honestly that part-time job has helped me so much too into where I am specifically the job that I have right now. It really helped me understand from a customer and client perspective what people are looking for, what people are shopping for, how they're shopping, just kind of that whole buying experience. I was really able to get that hands-on which really helps me in my position today. I loved working for SIJCP. It was so much fun. So fast forward after graduation, I was freaking out. I did not know what I wanted to do. I think this is like so common for so many people just because you don't know what your next step's gonna be. Am I gonna stay in like my college town and try and find a job? Am I gonna have to move somewhere in the country to try and find something that's gonna work for me? The beauty industry really has three main hubs for places to work. It's San Francisco, LA, and New York. A lot of brands and a lot of retailers are located in this three metropolitan cities. So I had to do a trade off of like where I wanted to be. I also had Nolan. We both wanted to be able to be together still. So we had to make that work as well. So we decided to move back home to San Francisco so I can try and find a job. It took me a really long time actually to find a job, which was quite discouraging. I did so many applications. I did so many like phone interviews. It's just so competitive here. You really have to have like a really strong resume. And I felt like at the time I didn't for the things that I did in school. Like I really wish I went back and did more internships and had more hands-on experience in terms of working at like a real company and doing more of like the corporate stuff while I was in school. So that was one piece of advice that I'd recommend. I just was not competitive enough. So I decided that I was either going to go to FITM or I was going to go to makeup school and learn makeup and like the makeup application, which I did. I did a whole video on. I thought it was really valuable if you want to do freelance work as like your main job. At the time, I still knew my path wanted to be corporate. After graduating at makeup school, which was only a couple months, I decided to apply to more places if I 
wasn't gonna go to FITM, which I'm so glad that I actually didn't go because I landed an internship with the Balm Cosmetics. It took a year after I graduated, which again was so discouraging, but do not give up. Things are waiting and everything's gonna happen for the right reasons and everything's gonna fall in place. I wish I kinda told myself that back then because I was stressing so much about getting a job and making sure it's like the perfect job outside of college. Your first job's never gonna be perfect and it's never gonna be exactly what you want. I was hired at the brand as a social media intern. After about three or so months, it turned into a full-time position, which was so exciting. I was also running all of their public relations and helped with the marketing. I was at the bomb for about a year after I decided that I wanted something more. I wanted more responsibility. I wanted something new. And I applied to so many places. I started in January and I didn't land a position until July. I was so discouraged. Like I actually cried at work when I heard the phone call that I wasn't getting something. And you know, like always checking your email to see if you got a response from someone or, you know, a position. So it was really discouraging at first. And then lo and behold, I was reached out to by a Sephora HR person. And I did not apply to this job. They must have seen my resume in their system because I applied to a lot of positions like the year prior. They asked if I was interested in the position that they had open. I had another brand actually reach out to me for a social media position. Take all of the interests and the opportunities that you can. If there's something that you're super interested in and you don't know if it's going to go through or not, do not let other things slide by you during that same time because you never know what's going to happen. There was a time where I was interviewing at three to four places at once and it was super overwhelming, especially having a full-time job already and kind of making that work, but it was so worthwhile because you never know what's gonna pop up or again, what's gonna happen and shift on the company side. So I went through the interview process, I got an in-person interview. I just had this gut feeling when I went into the interview, I thought this was gonna be the position in the company for me. I just wanted this so badly. Lo and behold, I got a call actually a couple hours after my interview saying they wanted to offer me the position, which I was so excited about. And at the time, I never would have thought that I would have gotten a position at Sephora Corporate. If you were to tell me that in high school, that is like so far off of my radar. I'd be like, yeah, of course, that's a dream job of mine. But to get a job working at Sephora Corporate, doing what you love and being in the industry that you're obsessed with when you're only 24, I'm super happy with what I'm doing now. I got hired as a merchandise coordinator for fragrance and hair for Sephora and JC Penny, which really helped, again, my retail side for what I did during college, working at Sephora and JC Penny, knowing that client experience, knowing the kind of customers that shop at the store. So fast forward to now, I've been working working at my current position for about six months. It's honestly flown by, it's so crazy. But one of the biggest things that I wanna to talk to you guys about in terms of one of the things that I am still doing, I'm still learning, but I think it really comes in handy now, especially trying to land a job. Wherever you wanna land a job is to network. It is unbelievably important to make valuable connections with people and to grow your network, whether that be doing informational interviews with people and just kind of taking them out for coffee and learning what their position is and learning about the company they're working for. I started doing informational interviews while I was in college and actually was able to network with someone at the time who worked at Sephora when I was a sophomore in college. You just also have to be super strategic and professional when you're networking. Really have like an elevator pitch on like who you are, what you're passionate about, what your area of work and expertise is in. I knew I wanted to be in beauty. I knew I wanted to do marketing and public relations and work on like brand strategy and corporate communications and stuff like that. So that really played into my social media job and then kind of like trickled down into marketing and now I'm doing merchandising. You really have to sell yourself and make sure that your resume looks good. Whether my resume be strong or not is the passion that you have. It's so important. I feel like employers can tell in an interview or even in a phone interview when you are passionate about what you're talking about. I think that really took me a really long way in terms of the interviews that I got and the response that I got. I think one of the biggest things that I wish I told myself while I was in college would be not to worry. It's so easy for us to get overwhelmed and compare ourselves to others, whether that be whether in college trying to figure out what you want to do or whether whether you're out of college, trying to make a career change and like an industry change. It's just so easy to get so discouraged. You know there are so many other fish in the sea trying to get the same job as you, but you just really have to know your worth, be like professional and just be proud of yourself and passionate about what you're doing and the job that you wanna do. So I hope this was kind of helpful for some of you. I know that my journey has not been like the smoothest and it's not how I ever envisioned it to be. I wanted it to be so easy for myself once I graduated and that's just not how life is. I had such a high expectation 
realization of what I should have been doing and where I should have been and I compared myself so much to other people when you really just have to stay in your lane do what's right for you and everything's gonna fall into place because I'm so happy at where I am now and I would never in a million years have guessed that I'd be working for a Sephora corporate if there's any questions that I did not answer for you all make sure to leave them down below in the comments so thank you again so much for watching I love you all so very much and I'll see you all in my next video bye